Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how to create sales notification on any WooCommerce website using a free plugin. Let me show you an example of the sales notification. On this WooCommerce website, in the bottom left hand corner, you will see a pop up just like this. This is a sales notification. These notifications will show the orders that are made already on your WooCommerce website and it is going to pop up these orders. These sales notification are fully customizable. You can change the style settings. There are different layouts that you can use. This plugin has free as well as the pro version. However, in this video, we are going to use only the free version of this plugin. Apart from these sales notification, there are different types of notifications that you can create such as review reviews, comments, download stats, e-learning, notification bar at the top and contact form. Some features are available for the pro version. It is not only for the WooCommerce, you can also show the notification for other plugins. For example, if I select e-learning, I can also show the notification for the Learn Dash or Tutor plugins. So let's see how we can create sales notification using a free plugin on a WooCommerce website. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using WooCommerce on this website. To create this website, I have used Elementor hosting. And in one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to use Elementor hosting and how to use Elementor Pro plugin to create an e-commerce website using the Elementor templates and WooCommerce. So this is one of the dummy WooCommerce website that I have created using Elementor hosting. So now we are going to install a free plugin to create a sales notification on the WooCommerce website. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. The name of the plugin is Notification X. So search for Notification X. So this is the plugin you will see Notification X. So let's click on install now. You can see that it has been installed on more than 30,000 websites. Let's click on activate the plugin. These are the types of notification that you can create. You can create a sales notification. You can also create reviews, comments, download stats, e-learning, notification bar contact form and these are other options for pro version. Now if I select sales notification, you will see these are the sources that you can use. For example, in this video, we are going to use WooCommerce. If you have easy digital downloads, you can use that one. And these are other pro sources that you can use. For this, you will need a pro plugin. Now if I go to reviews, you will see what type of reviews you want. Google, WordPress, WooCommerce reviews. If you have Google reviews, it will show the pop-up or the notification with the Google reviews. I'll show you how to create reviews in the upcoming videos. Now, if I select comments, you will see WordPress comments. So it is going to select WordPress comments. Download stats will be shown from WordPress or Freemius. Now, if you select e-learning, you will need Tutor LMS plugin installed. Some plugin specific notifications that you can use Tutor or Learn Dash. Learn Dash will be available for the pro version. Notification bar, this is for the WordPress. It will show at the top. Now contact form. For the contact form, you, you can have source of contact form 7, WP forms, Ninja form, flashing tab. This is for the pro version. Let's select sales notification and we are going to select WooCommerce sales notification which sales notification it will show. To show the sales notification, you need to have some completed orders in WooCommerce. Let me show you. If I go to WooCommerce and then go to orders, I have two sample orders which shows completed. It will show the notification only if you have the completed orders. If you do not have any order, it is not going to show because the source of your notification will be these orders. All right, let's go back. I have selected. So here I have selected sales notification and WooCommerce. Click next. And these are the themes that you can use. One, two, three other themes or the layouts are only for the pro version. So let's select this one. And click next. You will see display. For the display, you have different options. Show everywhere, show on selected, hide on selected. If I select show on selected, it will ask you on which page you want to show these notifications. 
So let's make it simple and select show everywhere. And whom do you want to show these notification for all people or only logged in people or logged out people. So I'm going to select everyone and position of the notification will be on the left. Next on the next, you just need to finalize and click publish. All right, so we have got one notification published. Now let's go ahead and let's see how does this work. So I'm on the website, let's refresh it. And in the bottom left hand corner, you will see the sales notification. This is the notification. You will see these orders are already there. JND just purchased. You will see this order. Let's customize these notification. We have this one created here. Let's click on it. So this is the name. If you want to change it, you can change it. I'm going to name it as WooCommerce one and sales notification for design. You will see these options. Just what we saw before. Let's go to content. Now here you can see that the content we have full name, just purchased product title and definite time. So you can see that we have a full name product title and when the product was purchased. Now you can make changes here. If you do not want definite time, you can say custom and sometime ago. Let's make it today. So it will show today. Today purchase this product. This is the product title. If you want to customize it, you can customize it. However, I'll stick to product title and the other options are only for the pro link option will be product page. So when someone clicks on this notification, it will go to that product page. So this product was purchased. Let's go back. You can change it. If, if you do not want them to go to the page, you can select none. The next option will be display default image will be these images if you want to show these images you can show the images however i'm going to select the featured image that will be the image of the product it is showing the image of the product here let's go to customize here this will be the position bottom left this is the bottom left if you want it on the bottom right you can change it notification size will be 500 pixel if you want to change the size you can change it from here here you will see display close icon you will see a close icon here if you do not want to show close, you can simply uncheck it. Mobile visibility. If you do not want to show this on mobile, you can disable it. Hide notification on mobile. Delay before first notification. So it is going to take five seconds before showing the first notification. So as soon as someone comes to your website, it is going to wait for five seconds. And after five seconds, it is going to show the first notification. Display for five seconds and delay between two notifications will be five seconds. So if you want to change these timings, you can change these timings. Display the last 20 conversations, display from the last two days. So it is going to show the orders from the last two days. Loop notification. So it is going to loop the notification. Open link in new tab. So I'm not going to make any changes here. Let's click on update. Here on the notification, you will see there is the notification X mark if you want to remove that you can do that also let's go to dashboard go to notification and go to settings under settings you will see these modules and you can enable or disable these modules at the top you will see advanced settings go to advanced settings and here you will see disable powered by you just need to check this box and click save settings now let's refresh it now you will see that powered by notification X is not there anymore. If I go to analytics and reporting, you will see the settings for the analytics. These are cache settings and miscellaneous. So I don't think you need to make any changes here. Let's go to all notifications again. So we have created one. If you want to create more, you can simply click on add new. And from here, you can select the type of notification a reviews sales notification and create a new notification. So this is how you can show the sales notification on any WooCommerce website using a free plugin. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. 
Thanks for watching Quick Tips.